Greetings during this holy season that we're in the midst of. Lent is coming to an end. We're about to enter the Easter Triduum, and we will soon be celebrating Easter. What a great occasion. And I want to take some time to just wish you all uh, the very best. In order to do that, though, I, I, I had some great experiences this week, and I want to share them with you because they give some insight into what Easter is about for us here at Lachlan. You know, at the beginning of the week, based on the Palm Sunday readings, a brother sent me some reflections from a, a pastor about the readings from Matthew's Gospel. And what the pastor focused on was the donkey and the colt. Both of those animals were tied up, they were tethered to something, and they had to be released. And then what was going to happen, they were going to have as their task, bringing Jesus triumphantly into Jerusalem. And the pastor was just reflecting on, on really how significant it was in that these very simple uh, references to these animals would fulfill a vital task in the telling of the story. And then early this week, I had a, a really a graced opportunity to talk to one of our seniors. His name was Nicholas. And we spent about a half hour together. And what I learned from talking to Nicholas is that when he was a freshman here, he was really on the road out. By his own admission, he said, I'd come, I was not doing the right things, and I was going to be shown the door. But what happened was significant. A coach, an admissions counselor, took the time to pull Nicholas aside and to talk to him about what he was doing. Nicholas, reflecting it back to me, said, you know, my parents are immigrants. We came to New York and we settled in a poor neighborhood. We live out in Far Rockaway. And he asked me, do you know what that's like? And I said, yeah, I get it. And he said, you know, it was tough. And what happens is I had to develop a shell and a posture that I had to carry out, that I had to live, because that's what was going to get me through. It wasn't easy. So I put on this act and this tough guy thing. And he said, that's the way I came into this school. What I knew was a different experience. He said, I came from a school where teachers were there to get a paycheck. They didn't necessarily care about you. That's his opinion, not mine. And what happened is, when he came to Lachlan, there was someone who cared enough to stop and talk to him. I think that's really so important. What that encounter did for Nicholas is it really untethered him. It untied him. It unbound him. Nicholas was able to see that I could let that tough guy persona, that hard shell that I wore back in Far Rock, I could leave that aside. I could become someone different at Lachlan. And that's what he did. Someone who cared enough to reach out and talk to him. Made all the difference in the world. The young man I met as a senior was reflective, he was responsible, and he was grateful. He knew, in fact, that he was untied. He knew that he was freed up to be somebody he couldn't be based on where he came from and what people thought he should be. And so what happens is that he really became someone else. And you know, I guess that's my hope for all of us at Easter. My hope is that Easter, that we'll all know the joy of being set free, of being untethered, of being unbound, from something that's holding us back, that's preventing us from being the person that God calls us to be. Because what Nicholas reminded me of is that we all need that. Lent reminds us of that. The Triduum makes that point of transformation strongly. But at the end, it is love that triumphs and the Easter joy that follows from that is boundless. So this Easter season, I want to wish you the, all the joy of the season. And may we all know the joy of being the person that we're called to be. A very happy and blessed Easter.